In this tutorial, we are going to implement a very simple application to show your location on the map. You will see a box ask you to know your location and if you click allow, the loading box is gonna disappear and your location on map is gonna show up. Let's go and implement this. First of all, create a React application, run npx create react app and set the name of app to my location app cd my location app let's type code dot to open vs code in this folder and then open terminal and run npm start to start the application after creating React app, it's time to installing two packages. The first one is Liftlet and the second one is React Liftlet. So let's run this. Click here on the plus icon and open another terminal and enter npm install Liftlet and React Liftlet. So in the meantime, I'm going to go to the SRC folder and get rid of app.css app.test.js and also the logo.svg then open app.js and there is no need to these two import anymore and here let's define default longitude and latitude default longitude Let's set it to minus one, two, three. It's for Vancouver and default latitude. Let's set it 48. Also in the return section, let's get rid of the code from here. And it's time to show the map. Here I'm going to use map component and the map component comes from react leaflet from react and for map component there is a center property and it's an array the first index of array is for latitude so i just set it to latitude and the second index is for longitude default longitude and inside the map let's define Another component is tile layer. And for tile layer, we have to set the URL and attribution like this. If you do not set it, you will get an error. So just set the URL equal to HTTPS tile.openstreetmap.org with this syntax and set the attribute to copy sign and set the copyright as you see right here. Okay, let's close the map icon, uh, sorry, close the tile layer. And by closing the tile layer, it's time to import tile layer at the very top next to map. Great, uh, let's add the style of leaflet to the index.html open in the public folder index.html and right before the title paste this http is colon slash slash unpack dot com slash leaflet at this address exactly and then you are able to using leaflet in your application also open file index.css and in the body get rid of all of this and in the code there is no code the only thing we need is leaflet container width to a hundred percent and height to a hundred viewport height also set the zoom to like 12. as you see we have the map location and it's in the vancouver but the point is we want to go to the current location based on the current location 
in the browser. To make it happen, the next move is going to be installing React Geolocated. Let's go to the console npm react-geolocated like this. In the app.js, I just check langitude by checking dot chords if it exists i am going to use longitude of it but if it doesn't exist use the default longitude duplicate this line and change longitude to latitude and don't forget to update the map center using this also, inside the map, I just check if there is no chords. You know, I want to show loading message, div loading, and set the class name loading. But if the chords exist, I want to show a marker. Marker, you know, it's automatically imported here from leaflet or make it from react leaflet not from the leaflet like this and in the marker there is a position and set the position exactly like the map and inside this i'm gonna show a pop-up like this and the pop-ups comes from react leaflet and inside the pop-ups i show you are here that's it it's time to update the export default app because I'm going to use HOC higher order component from react uh, geolocated export default geolocated and I need to import geolocated from react geo located oops there, there was a typo in the react geo located here and by installing geo located we want to set position option to enable high accuracy to false and also set timeout to 10 second it's a millisecond so i make it like this and then get rid of this and wrap this inside app you know it's just a wrapper that get app component from us and because we are using this we need to convert this functional component to class-based component extends React dot component and here we wrap create render function and move all this code inside render function like this and there is a typo here it should be longitude you know like this and I just convert with A to O you will see here is your location and you are here.